Hello. My name is Erika Valentina Vergara Navarro, curator of the Luis Maria Murillo National Taxonomic Collection of Insects, CTNI. Endorsed by the National Registry of Biological Collections of Colombia. This collection is made up of two main collections, one that is for research, located specifically here in the municipality of Mascara, and another for exhibition called Agricultural Insects of Colombia, which is also located here in the municipality of Mascara, the latter in the Agricultural Library of Colombia back in the Taibetator Research Center. At the same time, we find these same collections at the Turapana Research Center, in the municipality of Serret, at the Carabaya Research Center, in the municipality of Zoabanera, in the municipality of Espinal, at the Natama Research Center, and in the municipality of Barbosa at the Simper headquarters. Here we are going to talk precisely about what corresponds to the CTNI, which is the Agrosavia Insect Collection. First of all, we are going to clarify something. Our object of study is a mainly insect, since there are other arthropods such as mites or springtails that or another way are also related to the agricultural part. In what has to do with insects, so that we keep in mind, it is basically that they have three pairs of legs as we can see here. Apart from that, their body is divided into three pieces or tagmas, that is, head, thorax, and abdomen. Why is it important to recognize an insect? And what function do they have as an object of study within the Acrosavia collection? Many insects are harmful and others are beneficial in agroecosystems. Knowing them, who exactly they are, helps us mainly to recognize their function within that agroecosystem. Likewise, it is very important to look at what is the most appropriate management that can be done to the insect to lower its populations in the different crops. If we know who the species in question is. Through the collection and deposit of the reference collections of the different projects that are executed in the corporation, they are deposited in the CTNI, thus allowing not only the support of the investigations carried out by the corporation's researchers, but also the requirements of the INLER, the SIGNAL and the RNC to which we commit ourselves as the current national regulations that correspond to biological collections and insect collections. Insects fulfill, like many other organisms, a fundamental role in the ecosystem. In the case of artificial ecosystems such as agroecosystems, they also fulfill a particular function. There are insects with many habits, that is, we can find those that are decomposers that are in charge of making tunnels in the soil, improving what has to do with soil quality, porosity, and structure. This helps the aeration of the plants. They can move and in one way or another extend their roots that are a fundamental part of what a group of insects does. There are also some insects that are predators, that is, they help to control in one way or another the populations of other insects that can climb, and they can have very high populations. We have insects that are parasitoids, they do not work through direct feeding as such. They feed on an insect, but in their juvenile stages, in this case the larvae, they feed on a particular host. Therefore, if we have decomposers, parasitoids and pollinators, this group of insects will really be very important in agriculture. When we talk about pollinators, 
we have to keep in mind that it's not just bees. Because there are many species. One of them is called Apis mellifera. But of all the ones we have in the country there are many native ones. Like the ones we call bumblebees. They are bees and they are also pollinators. We also find within the pollinators moths, butterflies and beetles. This is a fairly important guild. We can look at what can really affect a crop. A particular species. Call it species X. If at a certain moment its population increases. It goes from one individual to 1,500 individuals at a certain moment. It can affect the crop economically. That is what is called the damage threshold. The damage threshold only at that moment can an insect be given the connotation of a plague. It is important to emphasize that insects have many habits, we have decomposers, pollinators, predators, parasitoids, and insects that when populations increase can be considered pests. If an economic damage threshold study is carried out, it is important to always have present that. It is not the presence of a species, it is the number of individuals of that species at a certain moment of the crop that ends up making it unable to produce correctly. So, remembering that the insect only when that particular species X increases its population from 1 to 1,500 individuals, so to speak, and that it affects the crop economically, cannot recover, makes the economic damage threshold show us the pest status. To that particular species, The way in which we study insects in the corporation consists of recognizing what species it is, where it lives, where it is distributed, what its life cycles are like, the duration in its juvenile stages, who are its possible controllers, among others. For this reason, in different research centers of the corporation, Insects are bred, either for management or in the Lar Libertad Research Center, which has the breeding of horned worm. Likewise, at the Parma Research Center, there is a breeding of the large avocado seed borer. But we also have hatchlings of controlling insects that allow us to manage the different populations, as is the case of Tamarixia radiata a micro-wasp that controls an insect called Diaphorina citri. Thanks to the study of biology and the recognition of everything that has been done with this insect, it has been possible to breed, establish it, and in the places where the insect needs to be dispersed. The CTNI was born in 1927. It is the oldest agricultural insect collection in the country. It is going to be 97 years old. And we have made all the information deposited in it available to a general and specialized public through the page of the Agrosavia CTNI collection.
There we find the entire database, at this time, of what corresponds to Coleoptera and Lepidoptera, of all the information that each of the specimens contain. Like every museum, we have the piece of the month that month after month shows us some related insect and deposited in the collection. It is also worth clarifying that we are on the corporation's social networks with the hash insects of collection. Approximately, we already have 80, did you know, infographics for a more general public, showing the importance of this group of organisms such as insects. Highlighting in one way or another, what has to do with raising awareness of this group of organisms and not looking only from the point of view of the plague stigmas, which we had already said. When that connotation really occurs in the part agricultural. Los esperamos we are waiting for you at the Taipei Tater Research Center to find out about the collection of insects, insects you can write to visit hostabatator at Also visit the page También and social networks at Agrosavia CTNI.